Oh shit. Whoops. Hi friends, it's Alex and welcome back to Alex's Books. Today I have an unboxing for you and this is my Illumicrate A Court of Silver Flames box. So I can't actually remember what they said was in it. I know there's a copy of A Court of Silver Flames and I know there's dust jackets for the whole series which is why I went ahead. I don't think you can see. Can you see them over there? Just, just, oh my god. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh my god. That's <laughs> why I went ahead and bought the whole series in hardback so that I'd have time to put these dust jackets because I previously only had the paperback paperbacks um but i don't know what else is in the box i can't remember so i think it might just be the books and the dust jackets so i'm going to open it now for you and i'm going to attempt to put the dust jackets on it will probably go very badly and chaotically so i hope you enjoy <laughs> oh there we go i've got the box open on the top it looks like this so it has got little spoiler card thing and I can already see the book which I knew was in there and there's an envelope so maybe there's a pin as well let's have a look okay yeah so it's the book the dust jackets and a pin so that's exciting okay so we'll start with the pin The pin was designed by Stacy McAvoy Kant. I will link everyone down below as usual. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's a pin set they've done before and they've brought it back for this box. It was originally in the Starfall edition box, which I didn't get, so I'm really happy about this and it's inspired by Feyre and Resand and it's this can you see is it gonna focus answer is probably no come on okay well it's this and it says stars eternal and night triumphant oh, I love that that's so pretty um so obviously there's the book this is my third edition of this my second of this standard edition I don't really need three editions, so I don't know if I'll keep this one, but we'll see. Now we're onto the dust jackets, so just in this, let's have a look at the dust jackets. Oh, this is exciting. So these are designed by Alithian, I think, and I will also link that down below, obviously. So this one is for the Court of Wings and Ruin. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to show you these very well. Okay, hang on. Oh my god. Okay, so there's the cover. I'm trying to see what I'm doing so I know if I'm showing you them properly. Oh my goodness. So the cover and that way and there's the spine and then there's the back and it's all foiled oh it's so pretty okay let's have a look at the next one they all look so beautiful i can't wait to put them on my books but i'm worried i'm going to ruin them now because they don't have fold lines so this is a court of mr fury oh it's pretty <laughs> i love the blue i love the fact that it's blue I really hope I'm showing these to you well. I'll do it hopefully more successfully when they're on books. If that happens anytime soon. <laughs> oh my god, okay, sorry. <laughs> so the next one is A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I've just seen the A Court of Frost and Starlight one and it's beautiful. Okay, anyway, A Court of Thorns and Roses. Oh 
Now we have a quarter frosty starlight, which is possibly my favourite. How beautiful is that? And then the spine and the back. So beautiful. And then we have a quart of silver flames, which is also beautiful. So that was what was in the box. I'm going to go film some more chaos of putting them on the dust on the books, putting the dust jackets on the books, and then I'll show them to you again, and it will hopefully be easier to show them properly. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so I've got oh my god, I've got my books. <laughs> Here we go. I have. Take, I took the dust jackets off when I got them because I just don't like them. So I'm going to just have to put a dust jacket on. I really hope it goes well because like if I fold them in the wrong place will that ruin them? Oh my god I think I need a table. I'm gonna go get a table. <laughs> By table I obviously meant Ikea stool that is way too low so let's do this. Oh my god it's lower than my knees. This is ridiculous. What is happening? <laughs> Okay, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I may regret letting you see what I'm doing. I don't know which one to start with, and I'm kind of wondering if it might be the best idea to start with a quart of Frost and Starlight because it's the shortest, but I don't know if that would actually make any difference. So, I may as well just start with it because it's somewhere to start. <laughs> never done anything like this before so I have zero clue what I'm doing by the way. Is that right? I think it's right. <laughs> oh my god. This is really stressful. Oh no I've done it. <laughs> I hope this was right because I've done it. slightly too far like this way but it doesn't look horrendous I mean it's a bit short but I knew that was coming because I said they were sized to the US editions and the US editions are a bit shorter than the UK ones so one of the things I hate the most when buying books is a wonky or poorly folded dust jacket so this is so stressful <laughs> one down four to go <laughs> oh my god Okay, the next one nearest to me is A Court of Mist and Fury, so we're doing this one next. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, if you want to do it, I wouldn't recommend copying me. <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing but just in case you're wondering I'm lining up the spine and getting the spine the way I want it and then folding in the ends over the pages once I've lined up the spine while very carefully trying not to let the way I've lined up the spine move <laughs> This 
this is definitely an easy way of folding them round, if that makes sense. Flat, like putting it flat when you've got it lined up the way you want it. Or at least it's easier for me. <laughs> down three to go doing a quarter oh where's the cover <laughs> doing a quarter silver flames next a quarter thorns and roses to the last one, Court of Wings and Ruin. It actually gets easier the more you do it, like this isn't been going too badly. <laughs> Done! So I finished putting the dust jackets on and I'm going to show you them. Hopefully you'll be able to see them better and it'll just be easier to show you. <laughs> Let's grab them. I'll try and show you the spines, but these are heavy. Oh, there we go. Oh, look how beautiful they all look together. Can I get a good angle for you? Aren't they beautiful? I'm so happy I bought these. So we have a quarter of thorns and roses, which is just beautiful. And then there's the spine and it has a mask yeah a mask at the top and then the back has this foiling and i assume it's a vera and then we have a quart of mist and fury and you to get best lighting oh it's so beautiful and then the spine and it has the mountain with the stars. I can't remember what the mountain's called. Don't tell anyone. And then the back has more foiling. And then a court of wings and ruin. Which has all sorts of people on it. I assume these two are Cassian and Azrael. And then the spine has a cauldron on it, obviously. And then once again some foiling on the back and then my favorite cover and i think maybe a tad controversially it's not my favorite book in the series but i did really enjoy it and i know a lot of people didn't um and that's a quarter frost and starlight this is definitely my favorite cover i love this shade of blue it's so beautiful the spine and it has a snowflake so pretty and then the back and then a quarter of silver flames. I didn't fold this one great. The spine's a little bit off, but it's not too bad. Um, and I would assume that's Nesta and Cassian. I loved this book so much, by the way. It was amazing. And then we have the spine, and it's just got a little star on it. I like that they all have something different. That's super cute. And then the back. So I believe a Lumicrate is going to do dust jackets for the last two books when they come out. Which just makes me so happy because these covers are so beautiful and I would love to have a full matching set of them. But yeah, here they are, once again, with all their little things on the top. And I'm just, I'm so happy. This was definitely, definitely money well spent in my opinion. And now I'm going to go put these on my shelves and just stare at them and enjoy them because they're so beautiful. But yeah, so that's it from me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video.
I would really appreciate it if you subscribed and liked and maybe left a comment. That would be lovely. And I will see you next time.